When you join the military, they're going to break you down and build you up into what they want you to be. And that's somebody who's going to push through the pain, suck it up, soldier on, and finish until the mission is complete. Nowhere in that guidance and nowhere in that building up does it say acknowledge weakness. Um, and you have to acknowledge pain so you can heal from it. That's not in the mentality. And I think it's especially difficult for women because we spend our whole careers trying to let people forget that we're women. Trying to let them understand that I'm Staff Sergeant Stacy Pearsall, not Staff Sergeant Female Stacy Pearsall. That I'm a combat photographer and not a female combat photographer. And by acknowledging that I may have PTSD or that um, you know I got I got wounded so I'm injured. Does that does that make me weak, or was that because I was a woman or a female? So you hide those things and you hide those emotions and you tuck them away and you tuck away the pain and, and you keep that to yourself and especially away from your male counterparts. When I did go to therapy and I was on active duty, I went to the vet center and became a little bit more guardedly open to some of the other gentlemen in my unit. And much to my surprise, they acknowledged back that they had issues. And I was there for them and that I could direct them where to go and link them up with a counselor and that they could get care for themselves. And it kind of became this little society within our unit in helping other people get help because that stigma that had been so cemented in our conscious was uh, as hard as a wall and, and we were brick by brick trying to break it down and I think it's it's still a very big wall and I, I think it's going to take a lot more of us to help break it down.